Uh, this is Paul from ExchangeServerPro.com and uh, in this video we're just going to talk very quickly about monitoring your Exchange database backups. Now even if you're uh, directly responsible for both your Exchange servers and your backups, uh, software can sometimes break or you might get a little bit too busy and uh, something could go wrong and you might find that databases aren't being backed up when you think they are. So to start with, just uh, let's just have a look at uh, what we can see as far as backup timestamps on our mailbox databases. So if we just run get mailbox database and uh, include this status parameter, and I'll just select the name and last full backup for each of my databases, put that in a table. Okay, so my databases have been recently backed up. This is uh, uh, backup timestamp is uh, about to seven or eight hours ago, I guess. So that's fine, they're working, but um, you know there could be situations where your backup software breaks and you uh, maybe your backup person is away on holidays and they don't uh, check it, or you have a team member leave and uh, other team members don't uh, pick up those backup responsibilities. And I've even seen uh, instances where uh, a server has been put in as part of a project and uh, it went into production. Um, without uh, the care and attention uh, that it might otherwise have had and unfortunately uh, did not have its backups configured and in that case it was almost a year before that was actually found which as you can imagine is a pretty high risk of data loss uh, if you run an exchange server that long without any backups at all. So uh, because this backup timestamp can be uh, exposed to us through PowerShell that means of course we can script that check as well and we can use a little bit of PowerShell date maths to work out if a backup has run uh, in the last, uh, let's say, 24 hours. So I'll just jump over to the script uh, that I've published for this, and I'll show you a few parts of the script. The first part here is these uh, backup uh, these variables for the SMTP server and uh, email address options. Uh, if you're running this script, you'll just want to customize those for your environment, so you point them at uh, one particular exchange server, or perhaps you've got a load balanced uh, a, a DNS alias or something like that. You can also change the from and to addresses uh, that the email will go to. And basically, uh, there's also two other thresholds here that you can configure. So these are the uh, the number of hours that the script is checking for uh, as the uh, time in which the backup has last occurred. So you might normally allow uh, 24 hours on a regular basis, but maybe have a higher threshold on a Monday because uh, you don't run backups over the weekend. So configure that uh, to suit your environment. I think 24 is a pretty good number, but just for the uh, purposes of testing and, and demonstration now, I'm just going to drop that down to 1. So it should alert me if any of my databases haven't been backed up in the last one hour. Now I've got this script running as a scheduled task. So I'll just fire that off now. And it doesn't take too long to run in my test lab. We should see that uh, report come through in just a few moments. I'll jump into Outlook and just wait. And there it is, so I'll open that up, and here we go, the following databases have not been backed up in one hour, and there's all my mailbox and public folder databases as well. So they've actually been backed up eight hours ago, it will tell you uh, how long ago the last backup was. I'll tell you the type of backup, the timestamp, whether a backup is currently running, which may change how you respond to this alert, if the backups are perhaps just running long instead of not having run at all. And uh, it'll also tell you how many mailboxes are actually on that database uh, because obviously if uh, a database isn't being backed up but it has zero mailboxes then it's probably less of a concern at the time. So that's it. It's a nice uh, simple script. Uh, I do recommend you run it uh, as a bit of a safety net in your environment. And if you have any uh, questions or problems that you run into, uh, please feel free to leave a comment uh, at the end of the post below and I will uh, try and help you out.